Hi, this tutorial tells you how to create a simple walking baseline. Uh, the simplest walking baseline, or the simplest walking baseline part you can create, is just um, the chord symbols and uh, slash chords, as we discussed in creating a guitar or keyboard chart. And the bass player just makes up his own baseline. But whilst you're making your arrangement, it can be quite useful to be able to hear a baseline underneath the rest of your arrangement. And it might be useful for people who can't make up their own bass lines as well, to have an indicative bass line. So I'm going to show you how to make one of those. It's very easy. Um, usually a walking bass line will have a series of crotchets. Um, there you can have triplets and quavers, of course, but the simplest version, and all you need for your purposes here, is to make a walking bass line out of crotchets. And there are just uh, three simple rules to think about, and they are put the root of the chord on the first beat, the chord tones on strong beats, and chord or passing tones on weak beats. Passing tones being notes from the scale derived from the chord that aren't actually in the chord. The strong beats are beats 1 and 3 in 4-4, four, four, and the weak beats are beats 2 and 4 in 4-4. Four, four. So, bearing all that in mind, Let's start. Here's our acoustic bass, and here's the first chord. It's C minor. So the very first thing we're going to do is put a crotchet on C. Now the range of the bass is an E down here, so don't put anything below this point. So, a C. Once I've gone put the first note in, I can start just typing in the rest. It's a diatonic series of chords here, so I don't have to worry about sharps or flats, although I would if they were apparent in the chord. So, I put in a C, the next note, I'm going to go up from there, I'm going to, I'm going to walk up, so I'm going to go C, D, then E flat, uh, the D is on a beat 2, which is a weak beat, and it's a passing tone, the next beat is beat 3, so that's a strong beat, so I need to put a chord tone there, that's an E flat. Now then, I've got to think ahead here, I'm going towards F, so I've gone C, D, E flat, I want to get an F. Now, you could put an E natural in here and just sort of like walk up to it that way. But that's a kind of chromaticism and starting getting a bit complicated. So what we're going to do is just not put an F because otherwise we'll be repeating the same note and you won't get that feeling of chord change, of motion in the bass line. So I'm going to skip up one. I'm going to put a G here, which is the fifth of C minor 7. Now I'm going to put an F because I'm on the first beat of the F7 chord. And now I think I want to get back down to B flat and I want to come back down. And I want to get down nice and sweetly. So I'm just going to go down an arpeggio of the chord tones. So I'm going to go F, then E flat, and then C, and then A. And uh, now that A will naturally rise up to the B flat. And now I can pretty much use this pattern again here. So I'm going to go B flat, C, D. And again, if I put an E flat here, I'll have an E flat there. We don't really want to do that. We want to make motion happen between each chord so that you so that you hear the chord note, the root note of E flat more clearly. We don't want to have an E flat here. So I'm going to put an F there and then an E flat. Now I've got the first bar of E flat. And I'm just going to do one more bar and just show you a slightly, slightly different way of putting putting things. So... I'm going to go E flat and I'm going to go F and then G. So that's the F is on the weak tone, weak beat, and the which is which is a passing tone of E flat. And G is the third of E flat major, so that's on a strong tone. Now then, I'm starting to get quite high, and I don't know if I want to get all the way up here. I might want to come back down a bit. You can go high, it's not a problem, but I'm going to come down. So to get from this G here down to an A all the way down here. How am I going to do that? Well, probably the best thing to do is to put a, a chord tone. When you're leaping a long distance, you might want to, you would want to use a chord tone here rather than something else like, you know, an F or a, and certainly not an A flat, you know. Although you think, well, an A flat could work, but I think not in this case. So what I'm going to do is put a B flat here. Now, when if I type it in, of course it goes up the octave. So I want it to come down. I hold apple or command and their down arrow and it goes down the octave and now i've got a low b flat the next note is a 
and then so you can see now I've got this nice boom 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 and it's uh, it's just a slightly different change and then I carry on from there until it's finished now then I want to put chord symbols on this so I need to select some chord symbols I've got the cursor here so I'm going to press escape to get rid of that blue cursor and uh, I'm going to copy these chord symbols remember how we do that and triple click select everything in the jazz guitar I want to filter the chord symbols so I'm going to go edit filter chord symbols now I've just got the chord symbols edit and copy to the clipboard all those chord symbols select the first bar I want to paste into and then go edit paste voila there they go now the one other thing you might want to write in here is uh, is that this is an indicative bass line for the bass player that you they you know that they don't have to play it so what you can do is you can just add some text so select the the bar you want to attach the text to and go create and then text staff text now you can use a technique is quite a good one to use for this because it always appears above the stave and uh, just type in um, optional baseline or something like that and you'll see it'll, it'll find a way of playing it, placing itself I'm using Sibelius 6 which moves things around to make sure that they don't clash you'll have to find a different way of doing it in Sibelius 5 okay well that's it really um, Enjoy making your bass line. And uh, as always, don't forget, if you want to find out more about what I do, go to www.susanmusic.co.uk.